Hello, uh, I'm very glad to uh, have Michael Ferrante, uh, Principal Product Manager of Oracle Forms, beside me. Uh, and I'm very glad to have you pronounce uh, the new and latest Oracle Forms release on the open world. Um, what could we expect from the new release? Um, the new release, I believe, is an opportunity for change. It's an opportunity for our customers to consider fresh development on applications that likely have uh, aged for quite a long time without any change. And I believe that we've delivered a significant number of new features that should offer that opportunity to enhance those older, older applications into what most would consider more modern uh, looking and feeling applications. And I hope our customers take advantage of that um, this opportunity. Can you give me a uh, little bit an insight of the new features? What are the, the major enhancements in your uh, kind of, of seeing the product? Sure, sure. We, we managed to address many, many concerns that customers had over the years. We've looked at uh, all of the various areas of the product from runtime to design time to administration. Mm -hmm. Uh, we introduced, for example, uh, the ability to do integration more natively with um, products like BI Publisher. Mm -hmm. uh, so now what we're giving you are choices. Uh, previously, the only option you had for reporting was Oracle Reports. Mm -hmm. And we kind of thought it, it would, would offer that opportunity to give uh, organizations the ability to choose which tool fit their needs better. So now for reporting, you could use uh, either Oracle Reports or BI Publisher. Um, other features included some very subtle features, uh, subtle deliveries where um, you might, for example, want to um, add images to tab canvases, uh, the, the labels themselves, to, to raise awareness to each label. Again, it seems like a subtle change, but again, an opportunity to modernize the application and, and give it a little bit more strength. Um, I know there's been a lot of concern about um, Java applets and support by browsers. We've um, did, I think, a, fa a fairly good job at addressing that issue as well. Um, you could continue to use a browser as needed, uh, but by the same token, we are now offering an opportunity to run your application without a browser at all. So no more are those concerns of whether or not the browser is compatible with the Java version mm -hmm. and vice versa. So it makes administration a little easier. So, so some customers just use right now the Java Web Start availability in, in the earlier forms releases, but it's not supported. Right now it is supported. You have advice to use the Web Start functionality? Um, actually, th that's basically the case. What we've done is a, moder a modernized version of Web Start. Oh. Uh, traditionally, uh, Web Start was delivered um, in somewhat of a static way. We are going to deliver the Web Start um, functionality to the client in a little bit more of a dynamic way. That way, if a decision is made to customize uh, some of the functionalities of the application on the server, the client will see those changes. In a traditional Web Start application, that was a little bit more difficult to do. Uh, so we're going to give you a little, bit, a little bit more power than you would have uh, otherwise seen. Uh, we all know the different steps necessary to migrate from one form's release to another. For a candidate who is uh, on version 11.2 right now, what's uh, the effort to migrate to 12.C? That's, that's a, a good question and one I love to answer because it's, it's one that I think most customers will be happy about. Um, if you're on either version 11, 11 release 1 or 2, uh, simply regenerating your application and dropping it in place and, and you're done. Uh, I probably spent more time explaining that <laughs> than it will to actually do it. Of course, you have to install the new software, but from an application point of view, it's, it's simply regenerate and go. Yeah. I heard you talking about uh, future enhancement beyond, beyond uh, 12C. What is the most exciting thing we could expect it in one of the next releases? Um, it, it's funny that you're saying that because up until recently, many of our customers thought we weren't even going to do 12C, and now you're talking about versions past 12C, and, and that has always been the case. Um, we have versions beyond 12C planned, and uh, as far as features go, it's still un unclear as to exactly what we're going to deliver. Um, however, what we are looking at are things or features that will hopefully make your job as an administrator or a developer uh, a little bit easier. We, w we want to give you the ability to work more efficiently, so we want to offer utilities and enhancements to existing utilities that will will be more streamlined mm. so that application delivery becomes mm. um, much easier than it is since mm. many applications are, are quite large and 
moving from machine to machine or version to version mm -hmm. can sometimes be a little uh, effortful. So some discussions are all about what's the best practice, when should I try to migrate to ADF, to APEX, to uh, other technologies. So what are the key points you said? Stay on forms. What is the advantage of uh, forms applications versus the other technologies right. you right. provide? Um, that, that's, a, that's a difficult one for me to answer. I, I think really it will be a case-by-case -case basis. Mm -hmm. uh, however, just very generically speaking, I mean, forms, the forms product uh, definitely has its strength in data entry. It also has a, a strength over other products in client integration. Uh, whereas the web technologies, whether it's ADF or Apex or your own your own HTML type pages, mm -hmm. um, those are more um, for self service type applications. Right? Um, again, with forms, our strength is the ability to do that transactional type function uh, functionality where. You're entering data and moving to the next and moving to the next. Basically, repetitive uh, data entry uh, is far better served on a forms application than a web-type application, of an HTML-type application. Uh, if we take a look on the release management from Oracle Forms, we, we see that other products in the Fusion middleware are tightly bounded to the WebLogic server release management. Is that true for Forms too? Uh, from, from the Forms point of view, we loosely use WebLogic Server. Um, WebLogic Server, in our case, is used to host the Forms servlet, which is only one of three layers or three components, three key components of Forms. Um, we do take advantage of some of the functionality native to WebLogic Server, but um, most of our functionality lives in the Forms runtime component, which is that, that bottom layer, lowest level layer. Uh, in the product. So nothing's really changed compared to earlier versions. So if you're familiar with version 11, mm -hmm. uh, release 2 or release 1 where we started using WebLogic Server, not very much has changed from that aspect. Uh, in the new version, in version 12, we do take advantage of um, OPSS, Oracle Platform Security Services, which is tied to WebLogic Server in this case. Um, but that, that's the most significant change uh, as far as how tightly integrated we are to, to WS. One last question. Sure. Cloud is in every mouth, and, and <laughs> it's the topmost uh, part and to discuss about. What's the strategy for cloud services on forms? My head is in the cloud. <laughs> um, we we are in fact investigating some some interesting cloud uh, cloud ideas or options for forms customers. Uh, we have a few ideas on the table at this point. We haven't really committed to any one or the other. Um, at this point, we're still kind of in the investigative phases. We're trying to understand what our customers would. Um, appreciate most, I guess, is the best way of describing it. Um, and, and I think once we collect a, a significant amount of data where we could make that decision wisely, we'll, we'll go forward. Um, hopefully in the near future, we'll have some more information that we could share. Michael, thank you very much for the deep insight into the latest forms thank release. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me.